First off, let's reduce the stigma behind the experience of food insecurity for college students. A survey performed by the Wisconsin Hope Lab of 33,000 college students across the country found that 67% of these students experience some kind of food insecurity, and 33% of these students experience the worst levels of food insecurity. This experience of food insecurity is common among college students, and reaching out for assistance can help students avoid not knowing where their next meal will come from. The first avenue of support is right here on campus at Portland State University. This is through the PSU Food Pantry, which is in room 47A of Smith Memorial Student Union. You can access five daily items, however perishable items that are non-refrigerated and items from the freebie shelf do not count against these five items. All you need to receive assistance here is your student ID. No additional paperwork is required. The second option for support is the Free Food Market, which is run in collaboration with the Committee for Improving Student Food Security and the Oregon Food Bank. The Free Food Market is held on the second Monday of each month, with the exception being November where it is held on the first Monday. Although there are many Free Food Markets held across Portland, the one at PSU is held outside Chautauqua Hall on the park blocks. Make sure to bring a reusable grocery bag because the food can become plentiful and heavy once you've gone to each station. Please arrive at or before 11.30 a.m. where you can receive a color stick at the information table. These color sticks will determine when you can go up and receive food through a lottery system that ensures equitable and fair distribution of food. At 12 p.m. the colors will be chosen at random and those who arrived will move through the variety of food being offered to fill their bags. There is no required ID at the free food market and it supports not only Portland State students but also the community at large. Your third avenue of support is through the federal and state-funded Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as SNAP. Through the Student Access Center, there are SNAP outreach specialists who can work with you to get you access to SNAP. The locations and times to meet these specialists can be found on Portland State's website through their food assistance resources. These links will be included in the description of the video. Before you meet with these specialists, you should have a few things ready to share. These include your household makeup, including who you live with and who will be receiving benefits, your sources of income, including the aid you may already be receiving for school, how much rent you pay, including the price for utilities, and other expenses that may include childcare, medical costs, or other expenditures that may limit income and thus provide more proportional benefits from SNAP. There are other options when it comes to receiving support to limit the experience of food insecurity for Portland State students. These include multiple different food banks, pantries, and community gardens in the local area near Portland State. A comprehensive list of these can be found on the Portland State website under their Food Assistance tab. The main two resources that will help you locate support are the Oregon Food Bank Food Finder and an interactive map produced by the Multnomah County Child Hunger Coalition. Links for both these resources will be provided in the description. They will provide you an opportunity to search for food assistance not only in the near vicinity of Portland State, but also allow you to search for assistance in your local area. If you live off campus and cannot access the resources on campus, or if you just need more support alongside the resources already provided. Food insecurity is an issue that is prevalent for college students across the country. There should not be a stigma associated with this experience, and reaching out for help is a smart thing to do. And with the resources provided in this video, you can begin to find assistance on and off campus. All of the links provided and mentioned in this video will be included in the description below. You can start here and then reach out to the resources provided if you wish to receive more information regarding their respective assistance.